this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor! Last time, we defeated some pirates, but before returning to Jindu, I want to sell the scimitar, because I'm going to acquire a replacement for it in the very near future. That's also why I didn't buy another crossbow to replace it. So now let's go wing back to Jindu to claim our reward for defeating the pirates. Hey, how's it going? Oh, you're welcome. Oh, what's this? Hey, it's another one of the five swords that was crafted for us. And it's just as good as the new long sword. I think they're functionally identical. So let's see, I want to give the Ching Wong sword to Zhao Yun since he has the most strength. Or tied for it anyway. And then I want to get my equipment from Jiggle Yang back over to Gunning for dealing with the enemies on the overworld there. Yeah, I didn't really feel it necessary to give Chituma to Jugaliang for the pirates. Just because their intelligence is already so low. And it didn't really matter, like, when my party members acted in a round there. But, uh, okay, so what do we got? With Gunning, let's put him in the fourth slot of my lineup. Whoop, no, not Jugaliang. Okay, there we go. And yeah, I do want to make Zhuge Liang into my tactician for the moment. And okay, good. I rested up. And I think we're all good to go. So now let's head northeast to Sun Chuen's castle. And by northeast, I mean southeast. A little bit, that is. And then we'll get a northeast. It's mostly northeast. But here we got like these spiral mountains to get through, and most of those paths lead to dead ends, but not the one to the east over here, so if you know where to go, I mean, it's really straightforward, and it's not a very long walk at all, so that'll make it easier to get back and forth between these places. All right, we made it, and as you can see, we've got a lot of palisades to get through to reach the castle, and I'm going to be using a lot of TP in order to make that happen. So now, let's bring Zhuge Liang back into the lineup there, and this time I will want to give him Chichima because I'm going to have him using Ensha. Also, I'll need Zhou Yu to be my tactician to enable uh, Ensha there. We don't need power pills, though. Zhuge Liang will be fine. Okay, so let's bring him... Well, hold on a sec. Let me see. Where do I put him? Okay, yeah, let's put him in the second slot in the lineup like I had before. Uh, let's see... Yeah, like that, and we should be good to go. For boss time! Against Sun Yi, who fortunately has very little intelligence. So Zhuge Liang should be more than up to the task to taking him out. So let's get in Sha going there. Everyone else, take care of the rebel forces. There you go, over 15,000 damage. And we should be able to kill all these guys as long as we don't miss. All right, yeah, that is a bit of a drawback with the bows, even though you do get the two hits. Either one of them can miss, so you have more chances to miss, unfortunately. But fortunately, we won that battle. And we're on to the next one for boss time against Zhou Tai and Zhu Zhong. Okay, what do we got here then? So yeah, again, relatively little intelligence. So let's see, this time I'm going to want Zhao Yun to even get in on the action. 
So we have him use Incha on Jotai. Jiggle Liang use Incha on Zhu Dong. And then everyone else go after the rebel forces. Very nice. Got the hard one out of the way. Or harder, slightly harder. But we've got like over 100 intelligence more than these guys. Yeah, they pretty much set you up for using Ensha as we're moving through the generals. And, okay, one more to go before the castle. For boss time against three generals. Yeah, I can handle three. So, what do we got? So, Sun Huan, yeah, not very much intelligence. Xu Sheng, again, not very much. And Lu Ji has a bit. He could be a little tricky to kill, but I'll see what we can do. Okay, so let's have Zhao Yun use Ensha on Sun Huan. Zhuge Liang, go after Lu Ji. You guys go after the rebel forces. And let's even get Madai in on the action against Zhu Shang. If we can. Eh, oh well. Yeah, I figured I'd take a shot. And after this battle, I'm going to go back to heal up before going to the castle because I've used so much of my TP. And I want to have it ready for the final battle of the chapter. And, as you can see, it's not a very long walk to get back. So, we should be fine. And for defeating them, we gained another level! More soldiers! Yeah, Zhuge Liang and Machao have the same soldier growth. But, uh, okay, so we got all that. Now, let's go wing back. Let's see, I don't need to really restock on anything. Yeah, we should be fine going straight back to Jindu. And uh, rest up while we're here, too. Alright, now this time I'm going to want to leave Zhuge Liang out of my party, so that way I can have access to BG. And also, yeah, let's get Chituma back where it belongs. And we are going to need power pills. So make sure you're fully stacked up on them from Jizhou. Get all the equipment back to Ganning. Make sure you still got one Gullwing left. And yeah, we'll put the tacticians out of the active lineup, although not real not that I have much of a choice. Okay, so with this. Let's see, my party owner really doesn't change. So just go like that. And we should be good. Just, yeah, we got a little more soldiers coming up. But now, let's head back to Sun Chuen's castle. Let's see, with this guy, I think we can uh, take care of him easily enough. Well, at least we got all those guys out of the way. Maybe I should have bought some, uh... Oh, looks like he was trying to heal himself there or something. But, we got him. Hooray! And hopefully we don't run into any more Jameon users on the way back, either. So far, so good. And, alright! We made it! But can we defeat Sun Chuen and depose him as the Emperor? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.